Hey everybody, this is Will, and in this video, we're gonna talk about troubleshooting issues with RTP MIDI. Now, RTP MIDI is an incredible technology that allows us to send MIDI over a standard ethernet cable. It allows us to do things like send MIDI over a long distance uh, between different spots on stage to connect iConnectivity interfaces together to create a connected stage experience. But what happens when something goes wrong? Now, if you're like me, uh, you're a musician, you're in live production, um, something goes wrong like that and you suddenly get stressed. You got nowhere to turn. You feel like you can't solve it because you're not an IT pro. But I wanna promise you, you don't have to have an IT certification. You don't have to be a systems engineer uh, to solve issues with RTP Mini. That's what this video is all about. What I wanna go through is some common issues we see uh, with RTP MIDI setups and how to troubleshoot them and then finally how to solve them. So with that, let's get started. Okay, so in this particular setup, I've got my Mio XL and my Mio XM connected via an ethernet cable, but I have a problem. These interfaces are not communicating with each other. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go and open Oracle for X series. I should mention I have both of these interfaces also connected if you look here via USB so that I can see them on my computer. And I'm gonna look in the RTP network MIDI section for these devices. Now, if I go to RTP network MIDI uh, for the Mio XL, um, hmm, something looks up here. We see there's no IP address listed for that interface. If I go over to the Mio XM RTP network MIDI, you'll also notice that there's no IP address listed for that one. Now, seeing that there's no IP address instantly leads me to believe there is some sort of issue with the connection. And by connection, I mean the literal physical connection between ethernet ports. Now, if you were sitting where I'm sitting, you would easily see what the problem is. And maybe you can see it there. It's that this cable is not physically connected all the way in. Now this may seem kind of silly, but this is uh, something that could very easily happen on stage in the midst of a crazy setup. So I'm just gonna plug this in immediately. You'll see those lights light up to show that we're passing data and information. Now let's go back over to Oracle for X series. We'll give it just a moment. Okay, so let's go into the RTP network MIDI screens. You'll see on our XL, we've got our IP address there. And then let's go over to our XM and we've got our IP address listed there. So if you're having connection issues between two different interfaces and it's a direct connection, first thing I would do is go into Oracle for X series, check your RTP MIDI screen. And if you see no IP address listed for either of your interfaces, check your physical connection as well as check the cable. Maybe you need to swap the cable. Maybe it's a bad cable between those interfaces. <laughs> Okay, so for this setup, I, I've got the same Mio XM, Mio XL, uh, but I wanted to include these interfaces on the network that my computer's on. So in order to do that, I grabbed a network switch here in the studio, connected my Mio XM, my Mio XL, and my computer to the same network switch. Now, in theory, what that means is these interfaces and my computer should be on the same network. I will say my Mio XM is working just fine, but I'm having issues with the XL. Uh, I'm trying to establish connections and it's not establishing. In some instances, I'm not even seeing seeing it show up on the network. Um, and so let's see if we can figure out what's going on. Now, obviously, like I mentioned in the previous video, our first troubleshooting step, we check the physical connections on the device. The uh, cable is looking fine. Everything is looking good. So next thing I'm going to do is go into Oracle for X series. I'm going to go to RTP network MIDI. Uh, I've got an IP address, right? And we, uh, again, like I mentioned, I said, I checked the physical connection. So that, that seems fine. That doesn't seem uh, like that's the issue. So what I'm going to do is go to RTP network MIDI over for the Mio XM. And let's see if you notice what the problem is here. So look at the IP uh, uh, range, the start of this number here, 192 for our IP address. If I go back over to this one, it's 169. Now, again, as I promised at the intro of this video, you don't have to be an IT professional to understand IP addresses. Essentially, uh, an IP address is like an address. If I gave you my address and said, hey, come over to my house here in Texas, you'd hop in your car, you would drive to my house. Now, if I gave you the incorrect address, maybe the incorrect zip code, uh, you would not be able to get to my house. And if you weren't able to get to my house because of an incorrect address, we couldn't have a conversation we couldn't communicate. So when it comes to interfaces, when it comes to devices on a network, they all have to be on the same IP range. They all have to have the same, um, uh, not IP address, because each 
device, each interface has a unique IP address, but they all have to be within that same range. So let me show you what I'm talking about. If we go back over here, let's go RTP network MIDI. Again, you'll see our IP address here, 192.168.4.30. These This last uh, set of numbers here, these two numbers, um, are the ones that need to change. We need all of this up front here to be the same, our gateway to be the same. We need this number to change. Again, I promise this may seem like a lot. You don't have to be an IT, IT professional to solve this. Let me show you what the problem is here. So I'm going to go back to Oracle for X series, RTP slash network MIDI. I have static IP turned on for my Mio XL. And I remember now for this particular setup, I was at a venue where I needed to be within a specific range using a specific uh, IP address. And so I enabled that and I manually set it. But what I'm going to do is disable this over in Oracle for X series. So I'm going to disable that there. And then I'm going to pull the ethernet cable on my interface and plug this back in. All right. And then we're going to go out of this screen here. We'll give it just a moment to reset and reconfigure. Now with that static IP option disabled, that means I'm going to use what's called DHCP. Again, you don't have to be an IT pro to understand it. It just essentially means that interface is going to go find an open IP address within the IP range that uh, all of the devices on the network are on and it's gonna be able to communicate with those interfaces. So let's go back in here, RTP network MIDI. You'll see everything's correct here, 192.168.4. Here's that part of the address that changes per device, dot five, four. So if you have all your interfaces, devices connected to the network, everything looks good, but you're having weird communication issues, again, head back into RTP MIDI and Oracle for X series and make sure everything's within the proper IP range. If you have static IP turned on, unless your IT professional at your venue told you to turn that on and everything's configured, then disable that and make use of DHCP. <laughs>Okay, for this particular setup, I'm back to using my Mio XM and my Mio XL. They're directly connected using an ethernet cable. Uh, and what I'm trying to do is establish a connection between the RTP port one on the XM with RTP port one on the XL. So let me show you what I'm talking about. If I go over to RTP network MIDI on the XM, uh, I've got this set to initiator. That's maybe the first thing to mention. You've got to make sure uh, one interface is initiating the session, the other is responding to it. Uh, and in this case, uh, that's correct. I already know that that is correct. So the next step I'm doing is entering the name of RTP port one uh, for the XL. So I'm over here on the XM and I've got to say, okay, what's the name of RTP port one on the XL? So I entered that in XL port one, I'm hitting save. And I should see something happening over here. Uh, it should show me that that connection is being created, but it's not. So I need to one, uh, check that I have one interface set to initiator, one interface set to responder. I've already uh, checked that, that is correct. The next thing I need to do is check that I'm using the correct port name. Here's what I mean by that. So uh, I'm on my XM. This is the name I'm entering for the Mio XL. Let's get out of here and let's go back over to our Mio XL. We'll do RTP network MIDI and you'll look here, RTP one, it's set to responder. So again, I mentioned uh, earlier that that's correct. One's initiator, one's responder, that's good. Now let's look at the name of this port though. The name of this port is Mio XL uh, and then here's the serial number for this. Now, this is actually the name that I need. Now I could change the name by typing something new in here and hitting save, but for the sake of now, I'm just gonna copy this. Let's go back to RTP Network MIDI. You'll notice I was not typing that in this box here. So I'm gonna go in and do this now, hit save, and you'll see uh, here in just a second that uh, connection is established automatically. So if you're trying to establish an RTP connection between interfaces and that connection isn't working, you've physically ch uh, uh, checked the connection with the cables, with your network switch, you've checked your IP ranges, made sure static IP is disabled if you're using DHCP, made sure your IP addresses are in the same range and it's still not working, then again, check and make sure that one interface is set to initiator, the other is set to responder, and then double check that you're using the correct name for that RTP port. Uh, and if you do that, then everything should work perfectly. <laughs> Thank you. 
Okay, so finally, let's talk about three remaining things that you should check. After you've double checked your physical connections, uh, you've checked that you've got the correct IP range, and then you've checked to make sure you have the correct RTP name and initiator, one interface set to initiator, and one interface set to responder. So if all of those are correct, and you're still running into issues, here's a couple really quick things to check. Number one, if you're using any sort of USB MIDI controller, then make sure in Oracle for X series that you've gone into USB host reservation and you've properly reserved that USB host port. Now, in this case, I haven't, uh, but let's go to my Mio XM and you'll see that I do have a proper USB host port reservation set up here. That's super important if you're using USB devices to make sure that every time you plug that USB uh, MIDI controller in, that it goes down the correct port. Now, the next thing, you've checked all of that. Uh, it's still not working. Uh, you're routing MIDI between interfaces and trying to get things to connect. And you, you know that your RTP connection between interfaces is working. The next thing you should check is your MIDI routing. Now, here's where I would encourage you as a kind of quick tip, a pro tip, something that I do often. These setups can get very complex very quickly, uh, especially if you're doing a connected stage and created a connected stage with uh, a satellite setup with a Play Audio 12 a Mio XM, a Mio XL. You've got a USB MIDI controller over here. You've got a couple DIN ports coming out of a Mio XM to a Nord to a guitar pedal. That's a lot. So what I would encourage you to do if, if one of those pieces in your chain is not working, then actually grab a piece of paper. This is, I know, old school. It's analog. Grab a piece of paper and walk through the signal flow. Walk through the signal path. Now, if you have any experience in a studio setup, then you're used to working uh, and thinking about signal chain and signal flow and how to pass something in and out of a preamp. Uh, it's a similar thing when we're dealing with MIDI. We need to grab a piece of paper and say, okay, we're going into the DIN port. Then we want to go out of the DIN port to RTP port. And then over on the XM, we're coming out of the RTP port, out of the other DIN port. And in Oracle for X series, it's really simple to check this. First you go, okay, uh, let's start on our XL. You click on MIDI routing and say, where are, is my MIDI coming from? Which is our source side here. Let's say it's coming from DIN 1. Where do we need it to go? That's over on the destination side, and let's send it to RTP 1. Now, the other side of this with your interface, we go to MIDI routing and say, where is it coming from? Uh, in this case, it's a source, it's RTP 1. Where do we need it to go to? Oh, actually it needs to go to DIN 4 as opposed to DIN 1. So we'll go to destination, we'll disable that, and then go to DIN 4. Okay, so at this point with my MIDI routing correct, we checked everything before that. Things are still not working. You're ready to throw in the towel and give up. The final thing I would suggest, and this is gonna be hyper-specific to your setup, is actually double check your connections in your DAW. If you are properly passing MIDI between interfaces, and one of the nice things you could do is look on the front panel of your interface, see if lights are lighting up to show that it's sending and receiving MIDI. And if it is, um, and all your MIDI routing is correct, everything up to that point, USB be host port reservation, I would suggest you actually check your DAW. So I'll show you just for example, I use Ableton Live as my main DAW. If I go into preferences, command comma, go to link tempo MIDI, I'm supposed to be receiving MIDI from my Mio XM DIN 1 port. You'll look here and you'll see, okay, uh, I forgot to enable remote. I can then enable remote and that's going to allow me to use my interfaces in the proper configuration. So if you've walked through everything, again, your physical connection is correct. Um, you have the correct IP range, correct IP address set up. You've used, used the correct RTP name. Uh, you have uh, made sure one interface is set to initiator, one interface is set to responder. You've done your USB host port reservation. You've walked through your MIDI routing, uh, potentially grabbed a piece of paper and drew out the signal flow of that and everything works. Your final step is to actually go into your doll of choice. Um, and if you're sending maybe from Ableton to a, another program to res Loom, then you're gonna, gonna want to go to both of those computers and make sure your configuration is correct um, in both of those computers. So that's a somewhat quick look at some of the top troubleshooting tips we have uh, for solving common issues with RTP MIDI. Again, I wanna encourage you, you do not need to have an IT certification. You don't need to be an IT pro to understand how to solve these problems. This video, uh, save this, bookmark it, come back to it often. These are the top tips, top things that will help you solve your issues with RTP quickly. Now, if you're done all these and still having issues, uh, make sure to reach out to iConnectivity support. We've included information on how to contact them in the description of this video. Thanks so much for watching, everyone. We'll see you on the next one. Take care, bye.